What you looking at? So we woke up in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, when we went to bed, it was like probably 60 degrees, really windy. And when we woke up, it was in the 30s and even windier. Now we're heading on 40 West and we're going to Milan, New Mexico, Milan. New Mexico has a really cool landscape. There's something out in the distance in the storm. It's like rain. It's moving really fast to the desert over there. I think we got Route 66 over here. Yeah, I think that is 66. Is only one? Don't follow signs for Route 66 in New Mexico because they'll just lead you to the middle of nowhere where the road just ends. So that's 66 over there and it just ends. Like, that, that's what happens. We're coming into even more dust up here. No, it's snow. Oh my God, it is snow. We just went through like a bunch of different weather. God damn, how many seasons did we just do in a day and a half? When we got through Albuquerque, it was like 80 degrees, and then it was 60 degrees, and then we woke up, it was 30 degrees, now we're in the snow. We just got out of the snowstorm, a little dusting of snow, and now it is just blue skies. Entrance by permit only. That's probably for there, not here. Watch out, there's like a cow in the road though. Yep, there is. I'm sure because the road ends right here. What you looking at? How much you been drinking? So we thought that that was historic 66. See how that, see how that happens? And then, boom, there's cows in the road. Look at the red bridge. So we just stopped at this abandoned gas station just because it was literally listed on Google Maps. This is actually Route 66 right here. So we hopped back on 66 now, which will take us for a little bit. It's gonna take us through a town and then it's gonna hop us back onto 40. It's so cold out here, but we found this really cool Roaring 20 sign. We're three miles out from Arizona and got like the perfect row of bushes right here <laughs> and behind them there is the perfect train scene so we just got into Arizona and now we're getting back on we're 66 I think yeah I think we're getting back on 66 look at that yellow horse oh yeah look at all the animals up on the rocks So we just stumbled upon this little, uh, I don't know what it is, it's like a rest stop, but it kind of looks like a town in a way, like there's like little living spaces back here by these forts, it's called Fort Courage apparently. I guess it was like a rest stop, maybe like people could sleep in those, but they could also get food. I think my favorite part is that there's an abandoned Taco Bell. What is this? Look at that. We're in Arizona and it's still really cold out here. Taco Bell, coffee, and pancakes. They even had a gas station here. Here's the inside of the Taco Bell. So we are inside the Taco Bell Express and coffee shop. Just the architecture overall, like being in a circular building, like that's really cool. 
Yeah, these seats are nice. I like them. I like the blue. Just imagine when this was being used. It was probably so cool. Look how cool this rock looks right here. That's a cool rock. So what I'm wondering is, is this petrified? Like, all this? I feel like this is all petrified stuff. I don't know what petrified dogs look like. They just look like, well it's petrified wood, but petrified wood looks like rocks. So it's like, <laughs> don't fall. <laughs> you don't want to change my lens. Dude, well now's your chance, it's not windy. Hotel key. Look at that hair curler. Can you even see that? That's a hair curler. Walking around this old house. Open me. Old plates. Here's like a bar. Fifteen cents for plain ice cream, ten cents for root beer. Dude, I'll take all of it. I'll take one of everything. Look at the ceiling, though. The ceiling's cool. Straight ahead. Look at the boots. It is so windy out here. It's actually died down for like a second here. It's like I start right back up. It just opens up out here. I gotta walk all the way back. Hey. This is a tree. It's like the hardest rock. Well, it is rock now, I guess. It's a petrified tree. Look at the inside. That's the inside of a petrified tree. There used to be a forest here. This section is called the Jade Forest. There's a whole bunch more pieces of tree over here. It's like got crystals in it, almost. There could have been so much stuff here. This is prehistoric. Is it Bojos or Bojos? So Glenn, where are we at? Winslow, Arizona. Looking for the famous corner. Standing on the corner, Winslow, Arizona. Now you're standing on the corner. <laughs> About to be, look. Oh, <laughs> that there's like a huge, huge Arizona 66 sign in the middle of the road, in the middle of the intersection over here.
So we made it to, wait, is that guy parked up there? Two guns. But there's like ruins off in the distance and we'll go to those in a second. Suck my thanks. This is crazy, so we're gonna go walk over that bridge, I guess? There's some ruins here. So we're gonna go cross this bridge, maybe get a cool shot of the bridge. this barbed wire it's just like totally cut open and ghost towns like this are so weird I mean they're cool they're just so weird There's like so many things, like old cans. It's like, it's weird because there's so many remnants of the place, even though there's not much of it left. I don't know, for like a bunch of different stuff. Like, look at all this. This just goes onto a cliff. This is like as old west as you can get. I'm just on a cliff side right now. Like there's just stuff falling down there. What's going on up here? Yeah. Ooh. That's shaky. My treehouse. Welcome to MTV Cribs. My name is Johnny. These stairs are the sketchiest thing ever. Oh, this one's shaky. So we found the cave. There's this cool red door uh, ruin right here. We're gonna. That's really far down. Yeah. This is the tomb of a bunch of Indians. Yeah. This is where they were buried. This, well, here, okay, so here's what I'm thinking, so actually. this was a cave, but it collapsed, like... Everything in here is collapsing. Fuck. This is the best preserved stretch of Route 66 in the U.S. Fire danger today is moderate. Board California. is 5,144 feet. Actually nice out again, and there's like not strong wind, so I can talk into the camera and you can hear what I'm saying. Well, Glenn's leaving us, thanks Glenn. Burma shave. Look how popular my tumbleweed is. I mean, if I got lonely enough, hey, you know, there's still room back here for it. Just cars everywhere. We are out in the desert. The traffic in Oatman is just donkeys. What's your name? Hey there, hot breakfast. Oh, <laughs> all of these buildings are actually authentic. 